For more than 85 years, the Lexington Junior League has been giving back to the community, and they're getting ready for their biggest fundraiser of the year. Laura Eaves is the chair of the Lexington Junior League Charity Horse Show. Welcome to Best of the Bluegrass. Hi, thanks for having me. We are here at the beautiful Bodley Bullock House, which is the headquarters of the Junior League. For people who aren't familiar with the organization, what does the Junior League do? So the Junior League is a charitable organization for women that gives back to our community. We pick funded agencies each year that are different. This year we have nine. This brings back a lot of memories because I was in the Junior League way back when. Yeah. So the Horse Show is a wonderful community event and there are so many different things going on during the week. So yes. what can people expect from the Horse Show this year? Yeah, so this year we have a couple new events. Um, on Friday night, we have a gallery hop, which is a collaboration with the Bodley Bullock House. And we're featuring Tyler Robertson's art, which we're really excited about. That's Friday night from six to nine. And then Saturday is our big family day. So we have a stick horse race, a craft class for children, and a dog show later that afternoon. There are a lot of fun events going on every day yes. throughout the week. So give us an overview of what's going on at the Kentucky Horse Park. So Monday night is our first responders night where teachers, healthcare workers, and local first responders get in for free, which we're really excited about. And Wednesday night, we're doing a funded agency night where some of our funded agencies are coming to set up table um, where they can give out more information for their agencies. This is an event in the horse industry that attracts people from across the country. So it, it, you know, explain the competition and what's going to be going on there. Sure, sure. So we have around 1,000 competitors that come all over the U.S. and Canada. And we're going to have over 850 horses this year, which is a good turnout. Um, lots of competition, lots of different classes that we're excited about. And you've had some big name celebrities in the past. We have. I remember William Shatner has been there in the past. Yes, and Carson, Carson Kressley. Kressley. Yes, so, and then in addition to the horse competitions, you ha you actually have some of the trophies. And so what, what are these events that are represented here? Yes, yeah, so this is our championship um, ribbon. And then these are some of our um, perpetual trophies that we give out each year. These actually stay with us and live at the Bodley Bullock House, but you get to take a picture with them if you win the certain <laughs> classes. In addition to the horses, this is also a place where people can come enjoy great food and shop. Yes. yes, so we have a gated gallery that has quite a few vendors this year and you can shop from home, for home goods, um, horse items, and all different types of things. And you can eat and shop our boutique while you're at it. Yes, we, and we have the Lexington Junior League gear as well that people can get. And then these, the commemorative glasses for this yes, year. Yes, yes, this is our legacy item for this year, the crystal lowball glasses that we're really excited about. People can come, they can get tickets when they get there to the horse park, they can also get them online at lexjuniorleague.com. Yes. But then there are also ways that people can enjoy this for free. Yes, so the morning classes start at 9 a.m. and those are free to the general public. You can sit in the grandstand for free, which is really exciting. And then our evening classes start at 7 p.m. and those are $5 per person Monday through Thursday and Friday and Saturday they're $10 per person. This is just such a wonderful event too because people can come enjoy this fantastic show, but also the money is going to help you give back to the community and organizations that need it. Yes, our main goal is obviously to give back to our local community and this year we're giving back to nine funded agencies including the Well and the Children's Advocacy Center. That's wonderful. So for people who want to come, what do they need to know? Where can they get more information? So you can go to our website, lexjrleague.com and follow us on social media on Facebook and Instagram.